close grip, bench press, bench close grip, press, press, close bench grip. All right, anyway, long name, close grip, bench press, not a complicated lift. But let's talk a little bit about the close grip bench press. So it's an assistance bench lift, or it's a variation of the bench press, let's just say that. And since it's a variation, let's talk a little bit about the differences between the bench press, the regular bench press, and the close grip bench press, because there are a whole bunch of bench press variations out there. It's such a popular lift. All right, well, let's start with the name. So it's a close grip bench. So the grip is going to be significantly narrower. Your hands will be, not surprisingly, closer together than they would be for the regular bench. In fact, your press grip will serve pretty well, placing your hands right at the edge of the knurl, maybe a finger width in or out from there, but it's gonna be pretty close. If you go too narrow, you're gonna know your wrists are probably gonna start complaining to you. All right, so that's one difference. The grip is narrower. Because the grip is narrower, the range of motion is actually longer. At the top of the close grip bench, your arms are functionally longer than they would be for the regular bench. Now I say functionally longer, they're not actually longer of course, but they're longer in the vertical sense. So the close grip bench press starts an inch, inch and a half, two inches, something like that, I'm approximating. It starts a little bit higher than the regular bench press because your arms are longer in the vertical sense, but it still touches your chest. And in fact, you're gonna to touch your chest in the same place as your regular bench press. So the range of motion is literally longer. The bar is actually traveling a longer range of motion. Speaking of, range of ranges of motion, let's talk about a couple other differences. Your elbow is actually gonna travel through a longer range of motion. Your elbow is gonna start off completely extended, completely straight, completely open, but at the bottom of the bench press, it's gonna be a little bit more closed off than your regular bench press. So uh, the, your triceps do a fair amount of work on the close grip bench press. This is, one of the, this is the reason why the close grip bench press gets a reputation for being a very triceps dependent lift. So you can work your tries, bro. Now, don't worry, your pecs, your delts, they're still contributing to the lift. However, it is true that your triceps are responsible for a larger share of the workload in the close grip bench press as compared to what they're responsible for in the regular bench press. So the elbow travels through a longer range of motion. The shoulder, your humerus at the bottom, because of that very closed off elbow angle, the bar touches your chest a little bit, I'm, I'm going to say sooner than it would otherwise. And, and, and by that I mean your humerus is not going to rotate as far down. Your upper arm is not going to travel as far down. So we shave off a little bit of range of motion around the shoulder joint at the bottom of the movement. So those are some differences in the close grip bench press. You will use a little bit less weight than the regular bench press. Not a lot. Some people close grip very close to their regular bench actually, but you will use a little bit less weight. All right, so those are some differences. Why would you want to use the close grip bench press? Well, it can function very well as a bench press assistance lift or a, a secondary bench. So let's say on one day you've got a, a heavy bench day, on another day you've got a lighter bench day. Uh, notice I didn't say a light or an easy bench day, but simply a lighter bench day. The close grip bench would serve very well for that. Um, because it's got a little bit less range of motion at the bottom around the shoulder, it can serve very well if someone's recovering from an injury, if they've got an aggravated shoulder. And in fact, there's another reason, a big reason right there. If you've got the highly specific medical condition known as gnarly shoulders, you can look it up, it's in the dictionary, uh, then you might want to use the close grip bench. So in other words, if you've got some aggravated shoulders, some shoulders that are a little bit on the grouchy side, the close grip bench often works very well uh, for people in that boat. So it tends to be the older crowd, but not always. So we've covered the differences, we covered why you might want to do it, let's cover how to do it. Now, for the most part, the setup, everything is the same as the regular bench press with a couple small differences. So we're not going to go through the whole entire process. We'll link to our how to bench press video below. If you haven't watched it, please do. You might find it informative. Hopefully you do. But here's the close grip bench. See if I can not fall over while I do this. All right. So as we mentioned, the grip is going to be narrower. Your feet Still in a nice wide stance, roughly your squat stance. Your shoulder blades are still gonna be pinched back. You're still gonna be driving up the bench with your legs. Your grip is going to be narrower, as discussed, pretty much right on the edge of the knurl. Unwrap the straight elbows, bring it over your shoulders. And then remember, the touch point is going to be the same. So your elbows will still go out. The touch point is going to be the same. Still watching the ceiling.
And that's pretty much the close grip bench press. And if you'll notice, if you take a look, you'll see that the elbow actually travels a shorter distance downward. Take a look, look at the difference between these two photos. The elbow travels a shorter distance downward at the bottom. That's what we mean when we say there's a little bit less range of motion around the shoulder at the bottom. Now it's tough to tell from this picture, um, but it's probably an inch, maybe two inches less range of motion. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it can be considerable and it can make all the difference in the world if you've got some grouchy shoulders. So hopefully this was useful. If you did find it useful, please let us know. Hit the subscribe button or leave us a comment below or give us a thumbs up. We will see you next time. And as always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.